Our final award will be introduced by CIBC's Senior Director, Diversity Strategies and Workplace Inclusion, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Peterson. Good evening, everyone. Uh, as Suhanna mentioned, I have the privilege of introducing our last pioneer. Before I do, as a member of the selection committee, I just want to congratulate all the recipients this, this evening. Um, being able to read your stories was truly inspiring and uh, very impactful in terms of the people who were able to have the privilege to look at the accomplishments and what you've been able to achieve. So congratulations to all the recipients. Um, as Skills for Change has appropriately chosen, if you haven't noticed, the uh, symbol for the award this evening is the Anukshuk, which is the Aboriginal symbol that uh, has been used as a navigation vehicle. And certainly, our next recipient, we hope, have, ha has helped have uh, paved the way for many other young people to follow her path with respect to what she's achieved. Um, we know that our final honoree has set aside homework tonight uh, to be here, and so we hope that uh, she does well on her exams, and we have no doubt that she will. Uh, Lillian Gulumbo is the founder and director of the Youth Human Rights Program at the Canadian Human Rights International Organization. Uh, Lillian uh, it was born in Colombia in a family of human rights activists and was immersed in the work that now drives her from a young age. Despite enduring threats against her family's lives and enduring personal injuries herself, Lillian's commitment to improving the circumstances of others and giving back to her community has never unwavered. Her volunteer activities with newcomers and children have been awarded by several medals and she has received the Provincial Volunteer Award in 2011. Lillian is also a former Petty Officer in the Navy League of Canada and former cadet of the Air Candidates 188 Cobra Squadron, that sounds so scary, <laughs> um, Division Settlement Program for Children of Newcomers. Please give a warm welcome to our youngest pioneer, Lillian Colombo. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and motivating me every day to never give up on what I love doing. My inspiration are my parents, but mainly my dad, because he's taught me the important values like being humble. I follow his footsteps because he's a great man. I love you, Dad. <laughs> I came from, from Colombia 12 years ago at the age of 6. I started to get involved in volunteering in Colombia when I was just a child by putting boxes with food together for families with lower resources. Getting involved with the Canadian Human Rights International Organization and becoming the director of the youth program has been a great opportunity because I get the chance of meeting wonderful people who have taught me more than I could give back. Myself and other youth the other youth I work with were able to give a little boy in Ecuador the surgery he needed for his spinal cord. As a director of the Human Rights Program, we help newcomer youth get through their hard times. And I like this quote a lot, so I'm just going to say it. You have not really lived until you have done something for someone who can never repay. And I guess I have the opportunity to say that I have all those great experiences in my life. Thank you. So appropriate that Lillian should read the youth award from her iPhone. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Generational gap. You know, 